I'm assuming our last video captivated you so well that you immediately went out and bought one of these dragon boards. Now, we'll help you get up and running. Besides the board itself, you will need a USB keyboard, a USB mouse, a power supply with a standard DC power jack. It can be anywhere between about seven and 18 volts to power the dragon board correctly. You will need a monitor and some way of connecting the HDMI output of the dragon board to your monitor. Right here, we've got an HDMI to DVI adapter that we'll be using. If you want to load a different operating system, you'll also need a micro SD card or host computer. The vanilla versions of all these operating systems are always available at 96boards.org. Please do remember that this is an electronic device, so if you've been shuffling around on carpet while petting your cat trying to find an HDMI cable, Please do ground yourself by touching metal before touching your dragon board. Get all your peripherals connected up, make sure that the monitor and the board are both plugged in, and then push the on button. And don't panic. It will take a few seconds for anything to actually show on the screen, and a few seconds after that for the orientation to correct itself. The very first time you plug it in, or the first time you power up after swapping operating systems, the board could take up to a few minutes to come up. Every time after that, though, you'll experience the quick boot. You'll probably recognize this as a variation of Android environments you've seen on a phone. The Dragon Board comes preloaded with Android 5.1 and will act like a mobile environment. Drag up on your screen with the mouse to see the main screen. To get set up on the internet, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and enter your credentials. Once you're connected to the internet, go back to the main screen and open up a browser you'll probably get an angry message about the website credentials not being valid yet. That's because the Dragon Board wants to run in Unix time and thinks that it is January 1st, 1970. Go override the date to modern time in the settings menu. Now you should be able to access anything on the web. There's no icon for the Google App Store on any of these screens, so you'll need to sideload any apps manually that you want to run, just like you will be sideloading any apps that you custom develop for this platform. To sideload an app from the Play Store, you need a way to generate the APK file. I use Evozi, which lets you generate an APK from the Play Store link, then put it directly in your Downloads folder. You'll need to enable your device to install apps from unknown sources, which can be done in the Security Setting window. Let's give this a shot with Imgur. First, find the Imgur app in a web browser. The Google Play Store will give you all sorts of SaaS, which is why you'll need to sideload these apps. The Google Play Store will tell you that you have no devices, which is exactly why we're going to sideload. Copy the URL from the Play Store and paste it into app.evozi.com's APK generator in a new window. It will then let you download the APK. While that's downloading, let's check our security settings. Let's go to security, check the box that allows installation of apps from unknown sources. It will give us a warning which you should actually read, and please do be careful about which apps you choose to download since they will be coming from unknown sources. Now that our APK is finished downloading, let's go to our Downloads folder and simply click it to install. Follow the prompts on your screen. It will now appear in our apps list as if we downloaded it from Google Play on a phone. Open it up and you can see how well we can get to a video and how well it plays that video. Congratulations, you are officially cat video enabled on your dragon board.